Hello, it's Blue Orange 22. So I want to show you an article today that I saw that I think is interesting for two reasons. First of all, I think it's very misleading, and it's an example of the way that the media tries to falsely represent the men's rights movement as being a misogynistic movement and an anti-women's movement. The other reason why it's interesting is that it shows why the men's rights movement is growing in the first place. Let's take a look at what the article says. I put it in the description below. Women's rights have gone too far, say majority of Gen Z and millennials, study shows. Now, the reason why I say that's misleading is because when you actually read the article, that's not exactly what it's saying at all. Let's take a look. So I've highlighted the middle paragraph, but we'll start from the top. Women's rights have gone too far, the majority of Generation Z and millennials believe, according to new research. Now, here we go. Some 52% of Gen Z and 53% of millennials, which is basically the same, say society has gone so far in promoting women's rights that it is discriminating against men, a survey by Ipsos UK and the Global Institute for Women's Leadership at King's College London has found. Now, consider what those words mean. They're not saying that they're against women's rights, they're saying they're against men being discriminated against. They're not against equality for women. They're saying that they're against when feminism gets too radical and too extreme that it goes so far that it's no longer equality and that's discriminating against men. And as you'll see, it's not just men who feel this way. So here we go. More than half of men, 55% held this opinion compared to 41% of women. Now, 41% is less than the majority, but that's still a significant number. I mean, 41% is a little more than four out of 10. Meanwhile, 43% of people in Britain believe men are now discriminated against because of the promotion of women's rights. Again, that is a significant number. And compare it to the next number we're about to see. And before I continue, and I will get back to this point, is what's frustrating whenever I see these kinds of articles is feminists never seem to stop and reflect and ask themselves, well, why do so many young men and even women feel this way? Why do so many people think this is happening? Why do so many people think that feminism is going so far that it's discriminating against men? Instead, they just immediately assume that misogyny and ignorance is to blame rather than do a single moment of self-reflection. And I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but given the hundreds, if not thousands of interactions I've had with feminists, I feel fairly confident making that statement. Sorry. Now, this part's interesting. The survey conducted for International Women's Day also found that people in Britain are increasingly afraid of promoting women's rights for fear of reprisals. The share of the British public who say they are scared to speak out and advocate for the equal rights of women has doubled since 2017. Doubled since 2017. That's six years. That's not very long. Rising from 14% to 29%. It's actually it's a little bit more than double. The majority, 71%, however, continue to say this does not apply to them. This is interesting to me for a couple of reasons. First of all, why have so many people in the last six years suddenly become reluctant to talk about feminism for fear of reprisals? Is it because the English society has become more anti-feminist? And if so, well, why is that? Again, maybe it's not because they're misogynistic, Maybe it's because feminism needs to look in the mirror and realize that it is getting a little bit too radical and it is getting a little bit too extreme. And that's why so many people, men and women, are beginning to feel this way. I also find it interesting to wonder what would the numbers be if you were talking about men's rights activists? What percentage of people in the UK would feel uncomfortable talking about men's rights for fear of reprisals? And if it kind of seems like what I just said was a little bit contradictory, it kind of is. And it's sort of a weird dichotomy going on right now where feminism is still, for lack of a better term, the mainstream power in the media. But the men's rights attitude is beginning to become, maybe not quite there yet, but beginning to become the more mainstream view of regular people on the streets, 55% 
of men, 41% of women in the Gen Z and millennial era. So it's sort of like these two mutually exclusive truths converging at the same time. So it'll be very interesting to see how it plays out. Now, again, what disappoints me about feminism, and I say this after having hundreds, if not thousands of conversations with feminists, is that whenever you have a conversation with a feminist about men's issues, such as circumcision, domestic violence, pension ages, conscription, men's health, the education gap, very often these conversations do not go well. And my guess is that a lot of these people that are now saying they think feminism has gone too far, the reason why they're saying that is not because they're misogynistic, because remember, 41% of women, Gen Z millennials, feel this way. Maybe it's because they've had these negative experiences with feminists. And maybe feminists should ask themselves, maybe MRAs have a point. Maybe they're getting at something here. Instead, though, this is what they say. Kelly Beaver, member of the British Empire, the chief executive of Epsos, UK and Ireland, said, Our ongoing research into gender equality shows that we have made significant progress with nearly half of people now agreeing equality will be achieved within their lifetime. However, there are signs that the public are starting to push back on this progress to date, which is potentially worrying. But it may also be a sign that real change is happening in society and change can often make people uncomfortable and resistant. Or maybe, again, if something goes too far and gets too extreme, it's not progress anymore. And that's why people are rejecting it. They're not rejecting it because they're rejecting progress and they're rejecting change. They're rejecting it because it's going too far. And maybe it's time to listen to what men's rights activists have to say. Just a thought.